But you gotta see my t-shirt. I just got this t-shirt. It is the Justice League, Justice League of America. Super Friends, baby. I used to get up at daylight when I was a kid to watch Super Friends with the Green Lantern, the Wonder Twins, Superman, Batman. Anyway, that's kind of random, but there you go. Grace over porn, and here's the point. Scripture, nor does 13 ways to ruin your life, try to rah-rah us to be better Christians. It doesn't shake pom-poms and say, go get them. Go be a better Christian. Go be more pure in your life. No way. Ridiculous. Dumb. The scriptures point us to faith, to grace, to the cross, to the love of God. It's our movement and our motivation. Nowhere does it point to behavior modification that we are the subject of changing our lives. Like I hear all the time, I'm going to change my life. I'm going to quit looking at porn. I'm going to quit cussing. God must be the subject. Grace must be the subject. That because of grace and the love and acceptance I found in Christ, my heart is moved to want to be pure with my eyes, my ears, my mind, my life, my body in all ways. I love what Paul says in Romans chapter 12. He says, In view of God's mercy, offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God, for this is your spiritual act of worship. Notice he doesn't come out of the gate and say, Offer your bodies. Go offer your bodies. Go be a worshiper. He starts off saying, In view of God's mercy, go. So what do we do? We keep our eyes on the mercies of God, on the grace of God, on the cross of Jesus Christ, the gospel. That's my little boy hollering at me, telling me it's dinner time. I have this, this motto in my life, and that motto is, the truth of scripture is, I don't obey, I don't try to be more pure, I don't abstain from sexual sin in order to get, it, to get loved and accepted by God. But because I am loved and accepted by God, by grace through faith, I want to obey. See, it's, it's the love, acceptance, grace, the cross of Jesus Christ that is our motivation and yours. Man, I hope that helps you. So where are you trying to modify your behavior? Where are you trying to change your life as in you, the subject? Instead, let that go, man, and look at the cross. Go to the scriptures. Romans chapter 8, verses 14 through 16 is a good place to go that encourages my heart. John chapter 15, Romans 12, 1 and following. Ephesians chapter 2, 1 through, I think, verse 10. Read those texts and let them just marinate your soul, all right? Hope you'll tune back in in a couple of days, I, and I hope this is encouraging you somehow to live for Jesus, for his glory, and for your good.